Hey guys, in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to delete silence in Adobe Audition, for example, from your podcast. So we don't have to do it manually. So if you open Adobe Audition and then you import, so you go to file, import, and you import your episode. Okay, so I'm going to search for my episodes. By the way, I do have my podcast. It's called Girl with the Camera. Okay, so let's do Reese Hamlin, a nice actor from Australia. Okay, so you import the track and this is the, you know, over 22 minute recording. So if I zoom in with a plus on my keyboard or if you hold and drag this slider on the top, either right to left, you're going to zoom in. So look at all those pauses right here. Not all of them are actually something to remove, right? So you want to like keep it natural. So you don't want to maybe remove all of them. Highlight this so you can preview basically the silence. Okay, so in the waveform view, uh, you select a pause a space and then you hit delete on your keyboard and this way you delete the silence however this might like this is 22 minutes 22 minutes long okay this will take me a long time to do it so what i'm gonna do instead is i'm going to use go into the effects and diagnostics that means the whole audio is going to be analyzed processed and then it shows you the options if you want to delete or not Effects, diagnostics, delete silence, and we've got some presets as well. So just keep the fun parts, speed up the lecture, trim long silent pauses, trim short digital dropouts. Obviously all these presets do something else, but just look at the settings, okay? So trim long silent pauses. Um, define, define silence as signal is below. And here this preset has minus 41 dB. So if you just look at this level scale right here when you play the audio. So let's just say if you don't see it, go to window and enable level meters. Okay. Um, so if I highlight silence, right? So you can see that it goes minus 54. Um, and this one, for example, goes a little bit higher. So here is your dB on the right. If you're not sure how to read that, or if you're just not sure how to set it up, just go with the presets um, to see whatever works for you. So let's try trim long silent pauses. Okay, let's try this preset and see what it does. Obviously, it's going to do what it says. So trim long silent pauses. Maybe it's going to be too much, maybe too little. So what you do is you leave everything and then you scan and this will scan the whole recording, okay? If you look right here at the bottom, it shows you every single part that it identified based on minus dB. Um, and of course, for more than 1000 milliseconds, that means one second in a human language. Um, so if you click on individual ones, you can see how this identified all the silent pauses, okay? But not the ones that are shorter, okay? So as you can see, these two, because we, we had um, silence is signal below and for more than one second. So if they are shorter, they will be not identified, which I believe is really good in terms of podcasts because sometimes you want pauses, okay? But let me just elaborate on that. So if I click later okay i'm go down and i can see okay all the long pauses are going to be deleted so when i click on them i can delete individual ones but why would i do that anyway if you want to just check but if you have long recording you just shorten all okay so if i shorten all you can see check marks um, all the pauses are deleted great so now you're gonna have something more natural okay so i wouldn't do further than that okay because you want to keep some pulses but let me just undo this and because i want to show you something else so if you want to set this up yourself okay even though i think trim long cell and pulses preset works really good just understand okay as i said signal is below and in my because every recording is different right so we kind of just highlight a certain parts um, and you check for the dbs 
as well um, but it, it's not always you know if you have long recording it's not always accurate so what i would do what generally works for me for example is something around minus 40 db i would say and i like one second okay because i mean you know i mean you can shorten this uh, but then it really it, it might not be that natural in terms of like speech so signal is below uh, minus 41 and the define audio as minus let's do minus 30 okay and yeah 50 can stay so now i would scan with my settings and you can see i've got those pauses so it might be completely or actually very similar to just original trim long silent pauses preset but this personally gives me a little bit extra. I like this preset. Um, it's my preset. <laughs> um, I actually like this uh, a lot. So if I like it, I can just click on this icon and save settings as a preset. And I can name this Nicole Audio Silence. Okay. And now this is my preset. So if I compare trim long silent pauses, signal is below minus 74. Um, and minus 63 define audio um, and this will differ like based on re recording because sometimes peaks go higher when somebody coughs and obviously there's not audio that you want to keep in so it, it's very different but you know you can use trim long silent pauses preset or you can use my preset okay <laughs> whatever works for you and yeah um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. And again, don't forget to check out my podcast, Girl with the Camera, streaming everywhere, um, even YouTube, Spotify, Apple, Google, and so on. So see you in the next tutorial.